loves welcome back to my kitchen and today we are making this delicious sweet but a little tangy guava jelly so let's get cooking now the first thing we want to do is get our guava water ready for this jelly now I am using about a pound and a half to two pounds of guava that I had frozen for a few weeks, maybe a few months. I normally have guavas in my refrigerator. <laughs> so we're going to use that and add eight cups of water and bring it to a boil. Now you want to boil the guava for about 20 minutes till you see the pulp start separating from the skin. Then you want to turn off the heat, cover it up and set it aside to cool. Now guys, this is me the next morning. I had the guava in the refrigerator overnight. Now I am going to strain so that I can use the water in order to make my jelly. A pot that has been placed on medium heat we are going to add two cups of the guava water and half a cup of sugar and we are going to stir it to get the sugar to dissolve now guys I am only using two cups of the water for this jelly because I am making a small batch and I am going to use the balance of the guava and the water in order to make some juice While it is boiling, you want to monitor and stir constantly to ensure that it does not spill over the pot. You want to cover it up after it has been boiling for about 10 minutes and let it simmer. gets to this point and you can't see the liquid you want to lower the flame so you can observe how it is doing in there so you can know how thick it is and you know that okay you need to keep boiling a little longer and in this case we do need to keep boiling because it has not gotten thick enough so we're gonna turn up the heat and let it continue to boil see the color on the foam starting to change a little bit it's starting to look a little more brown a little more orange if you will so we're gonna lower the heat again a little bit so we can monitor and see how it is doing down there <laughs> bring it to a very low heat so we can see what we're working with see it is starting to thicken up nicely so at this point we are going to leave it on the low heat so we can continue to monitor till we are ready to turn it off Once you see it gets to this point where these little white things start to form, I'm not sure what to call it, maybe we're gonna call it a thread. <laughs> Once you see this little threading starts to form, then you know we are basically at the point where our jelly is ready. Because as this cools guys, it's going to thicken so you don't want it to get too hard when it is cooled. So we test it with our spoon. Once you see the drops start getting slower and it starts thickening right here, you know that it is almost at that point. So we are almost there. Stir a little to get it to come together. here 
again guys so we know that it is ready a lot of people use the water test in order to drop it into some water and when it stays firm that's when you know it's good but I have found that doing the water test by the time it stays firm in the water it's already too thick for when it is cold in order to be a nice spreadable jelly so I just go by this hair this hair is what makes me know that it is always ready and then this starts to thicken up almost like a nice caramel color so I want to just mix it together nicely to ensure that it comes together and then we are going to turn off our heat see once you do this and it starts separating like this in the bottom of the pot you know that it is good so I mix it up ensure that everything is nice and together and that thread mixes in with the rest of the jelly so we do that stir in motion for about one minute and then we are going to transfer it to our container guys we don't waste anything so we're going to ensure that every bit of it gets removed from that pot <laughs> and this is it our beautiful guava jelly as you can see on the spatula here guys it's already thickening I'll show you so this is what we're going to get when it's cool and this is what we want so this is what we're looking like now we're gonna set it aside so it can cool. So it has been about two hours since we left our gobba jelly to cool. This is what we're looking like. Guys, this looks so, so good and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna go into it so you can see what the texture is like. You can see that it's so beautiful it's so nice and soft and spreadable I'm going to spread it on a slice of our banana loaf because it pairs really really beautifully with this banana loaf so you all can see how it looks it's so so soft and spreadable it's so delicious it's just awesome <laughs> let me know in the comment section below if you have ever had or if you have ever tried gova jelly let me know if you try this recipe and i will see you in the next one okay bye